So this week, it's time to fix the old busted up compressor. Putting a new motor in for the old. Are you ready? Okay, so welcome back. Now I have mentioned before that I need to replace my compressor and motor. It started using it one night and it stopped working, blew the circuit breaker. And when I flipped the switch back on, it started to uh, shoot sparks. So it's time to go. So this is a Husky brand, but made by Campbell Hausfeld compressor. So it's a five horse, uh, five horse max, like a 5.5. The WL series, and this is how it's going to be to replace the motor. So I've already got the motor here. I bought it online, and now it's just time to do this. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and take apart this top. Now it's got two screws, two Phillips head screws on one on each side here. And once you take those off, take them out, it's going to have some kind of tabs around the edge that you're going to just pop loose. Now you can use either a plastic tool or maybe a screwdriver if you want to, however you want to get it apart. But once it comes apart, all you have to do is lift kind of up to a vertical spot and it will lift right off out of the way. So kind of lean it forward, pull it past your uh, outlet here and set that aside. So here's kind of the view of what everything is. So obviously you have your motor here. This is your uh, air out going into the tank. So you have to take this loose. You can see down here, there's one bolt holding it there. And then this band clamp going across and there's one bolt there. So taking those two bolts out, taking this fitting off, and this is just gonna come out and you'll just have left your two uh, connections. So you can see these lines coming up here. You have one white, one black, which the new ones have white and black, so it's just an immediate replacement. And these are uh, spade connectors. They just pop off, and then it's as simple as replacement. Okay, to take off the air line, it's going to be a three-quarter inch open-end wrench. Obviously, just take it off. The two bolts themselves are going to be a three-eighths socket. Something simple like socket and ratchet, and then a six-inch extension. That would be good there. So... I'm going to leave the, the electrical connections now, but you can take them off at this point. Just know that black is on the top, white is on the bottom, either way. So I can just take them off if I want to. One, two, done. And there are zip tied on there. So now you can either cut the zip tie and add a new one if you want to, or you can just try to finagle out the connections from the zip tie, just like that. So now to take this apart, once you have everything disconnected, you're just going to start with the band clamp. So go to the bottom piece where it slid up under. If you look at it, it slid under. So you can just kind of push down on it a little bit, pull out this way, and it'll pop loose, and then it'll come out. Set that aside. This bolt is already out, so you can see it's kind of loose. At this point, I can just lift up. That one's really dark. Out of there, and it's going to come loose. So then you can just... Pull up on the front, rotate it away so you can get your airline out there. And now, the old one's out, it's time to replace the new one. Now it's gonna be exactly the reverse of that, so you're going to set the new one down in there, put the airline on there, and you can loosely start threading it on. Set it down in, make your connections there. You can start this bolt if you want to, I just leave it to the last. Do your band clamp, slide it on, tuck it in the bottom in the channel, and then put your bolts in. Then it's time for a test. So let me note a couple things here as you're starting to put assembly in. The old compressor, if you notice, is gonna have a plug on it, and this is gonna be the black plug on the outside here. The new one does not come with it, so you wanna transfer that over. All right, so now that you've got your old compressor off, you're gonna start assembling your new one. So in the packet coming with it should be this rubber piece. Now it's got a sticky backing, so you're gonna peel this off, you're going to stick it right over there where it says 608. That's just a, uh, just a rubberized, or it's just a rubber damper there. So this is a grommet coming off the old one. This is going to fit over that there. And then that is actually going to fit down in this channel. So you can see where it's kind of rubbed in. Go in the big piece, slide it up. And then you've got this piece here, 
which the smaller end, you can kind of see it's smaller, it's going to slide in here, just like that. So let me get those assembled, and then I'll show you the next piece. All right, so here's the other piece. So this is your compressor out. This is your storage tank in. So this is the tube. Kind of goes into both of those pieces. Now, coming out of there, you're going to have kind of these older ones here. So you're going to take off these fittings, take the tube out, put your new fittings on, on each end, and obviously put these on first, slide the, the uh, grommet or the uh, seal on there, and then put this back together. And that's how you can get some new seals on there. Okay, so once you have the last two fittings on, you can see the, the uh, fittings here, the screw-on pieces are on the inside. Seals are on there. Now these are just going to fit inside there when you tighten them up. Now on your compressor piece here, which I can show you. Okay. So on your compressor end, if you look down in there, there's going to be a small metal screen. And it's probably going to have some uh, dirt and some other stuff in there. That's to help keep stuff out of your line, but eventually this will clog if you've never cleaned it. So now's a great time to clean it. You can always blow on it and a lot of it'll still come out, but you might take a Q-tip and get the rest of it out there. Get your screen clogged or unclogged, I guess. So now to assemble this, right by there, you're going to have this rubber grommet next to your uh, wheel. This is your belt. This is going to go in the slot, so it'll go in the back here, towards the back. Go in, and then you're going to slide it up. Once you have that done, now it's a matter to put your tube back on. So you can just kind of fit it in both sides because everything's loose. Thread it on there. Once you have that done, now you can just assemble your bolts back in there. So this one here, I always start on the outside first, and that's the same one here. You're going to start it by hand, and then because there's not a great tool path with your ratchet, just be careful you don't cross-thread it. I like to use an open end wrench with a ratcheting wrench. The do on that one is the 3 8 and it makes it a little bit easier to deal with versus a, 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 a socket trying to go straight down. If you look down on it, you might get a, a cross thread. And, ooh, that's not a good thing. So do that one first. Put your band back on. Slide the back end into the groove. Put it down in there. And then you can tighten everything up and you're going to leave your leads for last. All right, so now with everything tightened up, New seals, new rubber isolator on the bottom, bolts are tight, fittings are tight, and remember to make your connections back up. Black is on top, white is on bottom. You cut a zip tie off to get those out, and now's a good time to replace it. And the scary part is, it might actually work, so let's see what happens. <laughs> Just look down in here make sure your belt and your pulley exact aren't uh, touching the wall because there's a little bit of play in there and it'll, it can twist. Double check that and then I'm going to turn this on let it run and see if it'll get to about 115 PSI is where I've got it to run my air tools and uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Okay so now I've got everything done. I've ran it for about five minutes or so. It got up to 115 PSI shut off like I would expect. Just remember on this side, there's no covering for the fan and the belt and that, so always keep your fingers away from that. And you're actually compressing the air here, so make sure you don't put your hand on the, uh, I guess, the outlet for the compressor. So this is the inlet, the tube goes the outlet down into the tank, and that's going to be very, very hot after you've done it. So once everything is complete, you've tested it, you know it works, shut it back off, you can unplug it if you want to. That way it doesn't kick on while you're doing something. And then it's a matter of really just kind of putting it back together. So put the case on, put it down. You can get it to snap. Remember you've got a cord on this back side. Go to the channel. And once you push it on, you'll hear it snap together. Pop, pop, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got your two screws to finish up. And that's it. Your compressor's ready to go. Let's party. So just remember, safety first in all of this. Don't have it plugged in while you're working on it. Obviously, you don't want shock. And I uh, do like gloves. And just be careful out there. It's a dangerous world. So that's it for this time. Uh, I think it's time to get back on the project cars. So if you just came here for the compressor, welcome. I've got a whole lot of extra stuff that went on. Now, if you're here just to see what the heck's going on, man, i got a lot of stuff. So... 
That's it for this time. We'll see you next time.